<laughs> oh, namaste, namaste. Good God morning. Good God morning. I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. And welcome to my live feed. I have not been on. However, it is my intention to be on more. So we're going to kind of wait for folks to see if they come on. I usually don't do this, but for a minute. But let me, in the meantime, tell you a little bit about myself, even if you have not, because some of you may know me, some of you may not. So, I am Rosa J. And my tag is doing it God's way each and every day. I love this sweater. I really do. Because... It is such an amazing sweater. It can be worn many different ways. So, I am an author, and the name of my book is I Am Affirmations for the Living. It was published when I was blind with the help of my amazing editor, Joanne Meekins, who, Meekins, who I love intensely. I'm an entrepreneur. I sell oils and herbs. Um, healing in an earthly way. I recommend earthing. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I, um, I recommend earthing to heal. Getting that energy from the earth, from the center of the earth. Uh, I am also a goal saver. I save goal every week to build my wealth. I take in exchange gold for, I mean, dollars for gold. That's what I do. That's who I am. I'm a member of many communities that heal and help me survive in a peace and calm way. Today, and for the next couple of days or a couple of weeks, we're gonna talk about the four agreements. What are they? So we come here to earth to do better, be better, to learn lessons. And in that process, we are unconsciously agreeing with the things that we are taught, taught from birth, from school, from church, from friends and family, until we become aware of the fact that maybe some of those things that we agree to do not serve us well. They conflict with our person, who we are, what we do, what we hope to be. Hi, I don't, let's see. Hey, Mark, what's up? Congratulations. I see your baby is getting better. Very good. So how you been, Mark? Uh, thank you for joining. Share this out. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have these agreements that we unconsciously become aware of. Unconsciously we agree to until we become aware of how they affect our life. For example, when we come here, we learn that if we scream and holler and cry and do all that, then we'll get what we want. And sometimes that takes us into how we act in our adult life. If we fuss and argue and complain and do all that, then perhaps we'll get what we want. How's that working for you? It didn't work well for me. I don't scream. I don't holler. I don't fuss. I don't fight. I just don't do that in my human and adult life. But as a child, that's what we did. And if it's not working for you, perhaps you might think of changing. You may also learn how to sneak and be sneaky and, and do things underhandedly as a child. But as an adult, does that really work for you? Hmm. To be underhanded, you know, to sneak about. No, I, it didn't work for me. You know, you know what they say is, as a child, we think and do some things differently than what we do as an adult. 
But when we become aware of those things that we agree to unconsciously no longer serve us to the betterment of ourselves and others, then we have to change. Then we have to change our agreements to what we will do and what we won't do any longer. There's a book out called The Four Agreements, and that's exactly what this is all about, to change those unconscious agreements into consciously activating new life, new experiences. And doing, in doing that, we have to change some things. So the first of these agreements is be impeccable with your word impeccable with your word. What does that mean? What does that look like? Well, one of the things about being impeccable is to speak with integrity, with honesty. Hey, Randy, how are you? Share this out like this. Um, if you speak with integrity and you act with integrity, then you change the experiences that you have. But what is integrity? And Webster says to be honest, upright in what you do, having a strong moral principles that no matter what, you will be honest in your actions and what you say. These are things, that ways that you can change to be aware of what you say, how you say it. The next thing is to only say what you mean, not what you think people want you to want you to say, but what you mean in all honesty, speaking in integrity, saying only that which you mean. And thinking about that, mean what you say in honesty. In, in love. Avoid using words.